Welcome to Agriculture and Fishery Art 7. Today, we will tackle the week 7, the feeding management of poultry and livestock, and the housing requirements for poultry and livestock. First, the housing requirements for poultry and livestock. For agricultural structures, we have the housing for livestock, for the location, according to the Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standard, the shelter for goat and sheep should conform to the land use plan of the area, should be accessible to service roads, water supply, and electric line, should be well drained and well ventilated, should be constructed in an east-west orientation, and should be situated where the prevailing winds will not carry others to the farmhouse. We have three types of housing, the shed type, the pen barn type, stall barns, and the confined housing. First, the shed type. The animals can move freely in and out of the housing area and paddock. Feeding and watering through mineral feeders and green bunks are located on concrete pads at the center for along the side of the shed. For pen barn type, each animal is confined in a stall. Each stall is provided with individual feeding and watering through. For confined housing, group pens with the same sizes are constructed with the ample area for animals to exercise. Bamboo or wooden slats serve as fence of the feeding through to prevent the animals from stepping or trampling the grasses. Water devices should be strategized placed in a certain area. This is the space requirements for the minimum floor space requirements for goats and sheep for intensive production. For a structural requirement, for roof should be adequate enough to provide shelter against rain and intense heat. For wall shall be adequate enough against rain, a clearance of 150 mm to 300 mm between floor to wall and wall to beam. This is the space requirements for class H size of animal and for shirt or barn floor area. For floor, the minimum floor thickness shall be 76 mm with 2 to 4 percent slope towards the drainage. For pen wall, this must be preferably made of galvanized iron pipe scheduled 40, the diameter of the vertical and horizontal railing member of the fan wall shall be 50 mm and 75 mm of the pause. For the figure 1, the sample were figure called pen, and the slatted pen, the individual. For pen, Maternity pen shall be provided for cows that are two months away from parturition. The pen shall be bedded with straw or any suitable bedding materials during calving. For agricultural structures of housing for poultry, for the location, it should be within the approved land use plan of the local government and compliant with national regulations. Should have an accessible supply of adequate power, potable water, and good service road. Should not be adjacent any body of water or wetlands. Should be not prone to flooding. Should not be near slaughterhouse facilities and other chicken facilities. And should be adjacent to hazards such as physical, chemical, and microbiological. For farm layout, it should have a suitable area for storage of feed, carcass destruction, waste management, and workers' area, should incorporate ventilation and ease of cleaning, should have perimeter fences to prevent contact between livestock and stray chickens, should have a properly installed electrical conduits, and should include a layout for emergency procedures. This is the minimum requirements for free-range chicken production. For feeding management of poultry and livestock, for feed, and any materials which was processed, semi-processed or raw, intended to be fed directly to farm animals. For feed additive, refers to the ingredients added to the basic mixed feed. 
It is usually used in micro quantities and requires careful handling and mixing. For feed ingredients, a component part of mixture making up a feed has or has no nutritional value in the animal's diet. Sources of energy include banana meal, barley, cassava, corn, oats, rice, sorghum, cane sugar, and wheat. For sources of protein, blood meal or hemoglobin powder, the egg, fish meal, meat and bone meal, porcine meal, hydrolyzed feather meal, shrimp meal, squid meal, black bean, canola meal, lescanum and lip meal. For non-protein nitrogen sources, include urea, bakery byproducts, cassava residue, dried spent brewer's grain, dried brewer's yeast, corn barn, corn germ meal, corn gluten feed. For dairy products, include butter milk powder, lactose powder, skim milk powder, whey powder, and whole milk powder. For fats and oils, include acidulated oil, coconut oil, palm kernel oil, palm oil, palm oil, soybean oil, and tallow used cooking oil. For feed additives, Include as defined agents, anti-caking agents, anti-molds, antioxidants, dextrose. For feeding facilities for goat sheep, feeding through should be trapezoidal or semi-cylindrical. It should have a depth of 180 mm to 250 mm by 300 mm. For the recommended linear feed speed shown on the following table. For the wattle facility, for open tank drinking system, 300 mm space is required for each 15 to 25 heads. For suggested flushing regions for you, include good mix of pasture of legumes and grasses, a grass pasture and 150 gram of wheat bran per head per day. For suggested flushing region for early and mid-pregnancy you, the grease on a good pasture 1 to 2 kg, sorghum, silage, and legume high of 1 half to 1 kg head per day. For feeding rams for breeding, ram is normal condition requires some additional nutrients during the breeding season. For feeding of breeding dust, if the availability of pasture is good, there is no need to supplement concrete mixture. Four methods in feeding management. First, we have the extensive grazing. It involves letting sheep or goat in the entire pasture and leaving them there for the whole season. Four rotational grazing method is done when pasture land is divided by temporary fences into several sections. The animals are moved from one section to another section. For semi-intensive, Combines extensive and intensive system due to limited grazing. It involves extensive management but of the controlled grazing. This is the daily nutrient requirement for meat producing goats. For feeding facilities of cattle, feeding through shall be placed along the sides of the pen and should either be made of wood or concrete. This is the class, age, size, or animal, and the linear feeding space for animals. And the commonly feed ingredients for dairy animals. For feeding dairy cow, feeding management plays a crucial role in farm economy because feed alone constitutes the 60% of the production cost of the milk. This is the feeding allowances. For Pig feeding management, swine, are monogastric animals. Part of the protein diets of pig come from animal source. They should be fed on a regular basis. Fresh feed should be put only after removal of the previous feed from the feed trough. This is the nutrient requirement of breeding stock and the nutrient requirement of growing stock. And the other feeds used for feeding pigs, feeding of boars, 
A breeding board requires 2 to 2.5 kg concentrate per 100 kg weight. Feeding of female, the increased needs are intended for proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Feeding of farrowing saw and litter. Feed them lightly with bulky laxative feed. Bring the saw to full feeding in 10 days. For feeding of growing and finishing figs, they must be fed on a regular basis twice to thrice a day. As fattening progresses, protein percent in ration may be decreased. For orphan pigs, piglets should be immediately shifted to a foster mother when a saw dies or fails to produce milk. This is the ration of layer mash. That's the end of our lesson for week 7. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.